Well, now, I understand that you support cutting the scientists uh, from the DNR. Uh, why? I think it's about value for the taxpayer. Um, you know, if you talk to my constituents here in northern Wisconsin, there's probably not one in a thousand that know what the Bureau of Science Services does and does it bring value to the taxpayers. Uh, quick example, they set the, they help set the deer herd numbers and in northern Wisconsin, the uh, deer hunt has been a disaster the last few years. We were urging a number of years ago for them to reduce the antlerless uh, permits that were being issued and they did not do so until this past year. And, uh, you know, we could go into bobcats and other, um, um, other predators that they help manage. And I don't think they've done a good job of it here, especially for those of us in northern Wisconsin. What um, role, if any, uh, do you think there is for scientists within the DNR? Well, I think when you talk to my constituents, they're looking for opportunity, whether it's fishing, hunting, whatever. That's what they're looking for, and I think that's what the department should be focused on, is offering more opportunity to those sportsmen out there. And I, don't, I think they sometimes get a little bit of uh, far afield in the Bureau of Science Services in keeping their eye on the ball. Um, so it's important, I think, that the department uses good science, but we're receiving scientific, uh, or there's certain scientific research that's going on in a lot of different ways, including here in Wisconsin, especially with our universities. And um, while it's important, um, I'm not sure that Science Services has really done that part for the people of the state of Wisconsin in the Natural Resources Department. Well, what do you think of the Natural Resources Board being advisory only under uh, the governor's budget? Um, I generally support that, and I've been getting a lot of feedback from constituents on that. And one of the reasons that I support it is it's an unelected board. So, in other words, they can pass rules and then not have to go back and face the voters. And you know, we have un other unelected boards here in the state of Wisconsin, like the Government Accountability Board, which people have heard a lot about the last few months. And I think that's a real concern. The voters should be able to have a say at the end of the day for those who are creating the laws and rules here in the state of Wisconsin.